Hallo und herzlich willkommen. Wir machen heute ein neues Format für die Buchstabensuppe und das Kühllexikon. Und zwar sitze ich hier mit einer ganz tollen Person und wir machen ein Interview über die Situation von queeren Menschen in Polen. Und das Ganze wird auf Englisch sein und wir machen deutsche Untertitel drunter, sodass alle das verstehen können. I didn't understand anything. <lacht> So hi, my name is Julia Maciocha. I'm the chairwoman of uh, the Equality Volunteers Foundation, which is the organizer of Equality Parade here in Warsaw. Because in Poland we don't have uh, like a specific pride parade. It's more about equality, about like all of the minorities. But I guess we will talk about that later, probably. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for doing this. This is amazing. <laughs> um, can you maybe just start by telling us um, how the situation is like for LGBT plus people in Poland right now? Like in general? Yeah. Okay. So in general, in Poland, LGBTQ people doesn't have like any rights, not even like legal rights like equal marriages, for example, because that's a lot for us. <laughs> But also... We don't have like a specific um, protection in the penalty code uh, against the hate crimes, for mm -hmm. example. It's, um, it's a, it is a hate crime when it comes to racism or like religion, but it's not if it comes to your sexual orientation. So basically, it's super hard also for teachers at schools to teach about LGBTQ people because in Poland we actually doesn't exist anywhere except for the... Um, I guess that the uh, workload that only in in at work you are you are being protected, but it's because the European Union made it make it okay. like uh, um, obligation for us. Okay. So it's not that it was uh, like our government idea <laughs> to make it. Uh, so it's super hard because since we are not being recognized by the law, um, it's also hard being recognized by the society and to teach kids like about the whole diversity thing you know mm -hmm. so you don't have equal marriage and there's no protection against discrimination yeah. um what about trans people are you able to transition in poland it's super hard i don't want to like push myself because i'm not the specialist of course but a lot of my friends are dealing with with uh, the transitioning process in in poland And the worst thing is that in Poland you have to sue your own parents. Um, you have to sue them that they gave you the like bad gender at birth. So it's even more hard for families because you know it's it's quite hard for the families in Poland when the kids come out as trans, mm -hmm. and then they have to go to the court and they has to testify. And also it, it, it costs such a big amount of money that it's just like I can't understand that they are like the citizens and they have to pay to be recognized by the country they are living in since yeah. the beginning of their lives, you know. And also it takes like a lot of time, at least six months uh, going to like a psychi psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. But also it costs money because you can do that on the insurance healthcare. Mm -hmm. So again, this is all about money. If you have money, uh, then I guess it's it just takes time, but it's quite easy. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, then people are making crowdfundings and all just okay. to feel, you know, that mm -hmm. they're okay with themselves. Yeah. That's bad. And so what are the biggest issues right now? What are you talking about in the LGBT community in Poland? In the community, I think that the biggest problem is internal homophobia and transphobia and biphobia. Um, a lot of LGBTQ people doesn't actually accept their own culture because they think it's too much, like drag queens or non-binary people or people who are, you know, not really fitting into their, like, I don't know, boxes they okay. made up mm -hmm. in their minds. So I guess that this is the biggest problem for us. Okay. Especially in Equality Parade. I hate see like listening to people saying to me that there should be less drag queens on Equality Parade, okay. for yeah. example. Mm -hmm. Or that some people should 
express themselves differently because it's only one day for us to, to actually do it. Um, so I guess this is the most important for me, but for general, I guess, it's equal marriages mm -hmm. and at least civil unions mm -hmm. because right now there's approximately 100,000 kids living in rainbow families mm -hmm. where only one parent has the right to the, to the yeah. kids. So mm -hmm. it's... So there's no adoption thing either? No, 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 of okay. course not. There is anything, like, <laughs> whatever you are thinking, we don't have that, you know? <laughs> okay. No, but actually, um, there is actually nothing in Poland, like, dedicated to LGBTQ people. Okay. Only NGOs are working for that, mm -hmm. so... Yeah. Okay. So, Warsaw Pride was just two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah, so can you maybe tell us a little bit about that? How was it? How many people were there? Okay, so I had a broken leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't seen the whole parade and I'm super sad. But there were approximately 45,000 people. And as I said at the beginning, our equality parade is not only about LGBTQ people, mm -hmm. it's also about different minorities in Poland, especially like... Um, racial minorities but also religious one and they're like actually everyone walking with us we have all minorities okay. with us people with disabilities but also like people fighting for animals rights so uh, anarchist groups so everyone can have mm -hmm. a space and this is super important for us that's why I'm getting so angry when someone is saying oh you shouldn't be here yes okay. they should mm -hmm. um, so it was super great because uh, there was only five people against the parade, like protesting against. Wow! So it was like a big success, you <laughs> yeah. know, 45,000 yeah. people walking. <laughs> and actually, like, the police, like, uh, circled them. Mm -hmm. So there were mo more police officers than the actual people That's inside. Amazing. So yeah. uh, this is quite funny because also they stood uh, in front of the biggest uh, rainbow that could actually be in Warsaw, you know? Can you tell us about that rainbow? Because I think that story is so amazing. Oh, no, you are talking yes. about the rainbow. On... Ah, okay. Okay, so different rainbow. Different <laughs> rainbow, okay. <laughs> okay, so first of all, uh, I was talking about the rainbow made by Netflix because this year they supported us with like a quite a lot of money and, and a big support. And they bought um, a screen on the central station and it's, I guess, is the longest screen in Warsaw. So it was like long, long, <laughs> long rainbow. And these five people were standing just, you know, <laughs> below that. And everyone was like, connect the dots, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on, you know? Um, and there was also like two big um, posters of uh, Orange is the New Black mm -hmm. actresses. And of course, there was... Um, our rainbow because um, I don't know if you're familiar but we had rainbow in Poland since 2012 it was uh, in the Savior Square and it was in front of the church uh, the artist made it to like express the I don't know like uh, the communication between different groups Okay. so it was supposed to uh, be like the symbol of you know, open society and all. And our society burned it down seven times. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it was made of flowers? Yeah, right? it yeah. was like a um, metal, pieces of metal, mm -hmm. and then there were small flowers. Okay. And the flowers were made by the community, so okay. we were, like, doing them together. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so this year we decided to bring it back. It was so, so, so hard, uh, but we made it this year with uh, Ben & Jerry's, the ice cream company, and Love Does Not ex Exclude NGO, mm -hmm. which is fighting for equal marriages in Poland. <laughs> 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 and uh, we made it out of light and water, so no one can burn it again. And we wanted to show that love always wins, but... Also, that love is something that cannot be destroyed by hate or anything else. 
So we were laughing that all of the right wings people were Googling how to set water on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and I really guess that they did. <laughs> okay, so since Annika doesn't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> uh, two days ago, we were at Rzeszów Pride. It's the most Eastern um, equality march that ever happened in Poland. So, you know, Poland is quite divided into Eastern and Western part. Western is like more open, let's say. And the Eastern one is super conservative and super Catholic. So I was actually expecting the wars and I was really, really surprised that there were so many young people yeah. and the atmosphere was so good. Not at first, but later. Yeah. Yeah, at so, the beginning, yeah. I wanted to cry a bit. <laughs> there were, like, um, protests against the Quality March, and, like, they were so hateful. Yeah, so and there were actual, like, banners saying yeah. that you should, like, violate queer people and beat yeah. them. And, and that's really... I've never seen that before in Pride Parade. Okay, so it happens a lot in yeah. Poland. <laughs> this is why yeah. we're doing this video. So for Poland, it's quite normal. Um, because, again, we don't we doesn't have a hate crime, so mm -hmm. we can't report that, because yeah. generally it's not a crime to actually write that, for example, you should die or something like okay. this. So, yeah, so this is the problem, I guess. It's a big problem. But on the other hand, um, there were quite many of them, and I was just sad to see so many young people coming to the Quality March, you know, with rainbows and yeah. smiles yeah. and the fear on their faces. Yes, yes. You could like, actually see that. Yeah. yeah, and then you are thinking, like, what is going on? You know, we have in Poland um, KPH, which is Campaign Against Homophobia, and Lambda and mm -hmm. Transfusia, which is trans organization. They are preparing something like a report about how uh, LGBTQ people are living in Poland. Mm -hmm. So in this report, you can find out that 70% of young people in Poland um, has a suicidal thoughts. Mm. And like... For example, when we are thinking about uh, straight people, straight uh, youth, there is only 12%. So, no. like, the difference is huge. Yes. And then you're seeing kids, you know, going to a quality march to have fun, to mm -hmm. be free, being afraid that something might happen to them. Yeah. It's the worst for me. Mm -hmm. Because, like, I hate how people are complaining in the national television that uh, it's not normal that kids will have two dads or two moms. You know what's not normal is that young people want to kill themselves because of you. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, I think that this is the case. We need to try to use their words mm -hmm. against this propaganda because yeah. if we want to think about what's not normal is that people are killing themselves. Yeah. We had, like, in the last three years, we have two suicides that are, like, pr had pr be proven that it was because of the homophobia. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but, again, there probably are more kids, but the family yeah. are hiding it, that mm -hmm. it was because of the homophobia. Yeah. yeah. So Poland, as Germany, has a huge Nazi problem. I think <laughs> yours is worse at the moment. Um, so... Are you actually afraid of Nazis? Is there... You, but also the community in general? You know, um... That's a tough question. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm usually afraid about my volunteers. Mm -hmm. So if we are going to some protests together or something like this, I'm making sure that they are not coming back alone. Uh, or that they, um, I'm hiring taxi for them or something like this. So this is quite, quite awful. Um, but also like in Warsaw, I think I'm living in this bubble of Warsaw, you know. <laughs> in Warsaw, it's not such a big problem, I would say. Because mm -hmm. like uh, when I'm looking at the equality parades for the last five years, it was quite peaceful. I would say. So this Rzeszów Pride, for example, two mm -hmm. days ago was 
something let's not say new but like something different for me yeah. than usual so that's why maybe i reacted so emotional for it mm. to it but yeah so what i noticed is that as soon as pride was over everybody was packing their rainbow stuff into their oh, bags yeah okay so this is because of fear right yeah, yeah this is this is quite popular that um after the demonstration is over we usually pack our, our rainbow flags and transparents um to to our bags and if you have like a rainbow on your cheek or something like this, you should probably put it down so people are ha having like wet wipes, you know, uh, just to blend into the society. So yeah, this is this is the fear, of course. Mm. But mm, it happened two years ago, I guess, uh, that there were two young girls coming together uh, from the quality parade, and they were like attacked by three grown-up men. Okay, guys, really, that was so brave. Uh, the girls were, like, 14 years old, I believe. God. And they had, like, a rainbow flags on their cheeks. And they told, like, men told them to put it down. So they were crying and, like, wiping it with their own tears, you know? This is horrible. Yeah. That's why I guess that people are now more aware. And, of course, police did nothing with that. Because it's not a hate crime. Um, so yeah, so I guess that, um, you know, maybe it's not needed, but people are doing it just mm. to feel safe, to go home safely. Okay. And I think it's quite, still quite hard to express your, your views at work or at school also, mm -hmm. so... So if you come out as openly, like, only just advocating for LGBT plus rights, you could have, like, problems at work? Yeah. Okay. I wanted to say something. <laughs> no, but, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. And also, it, it depends on you, actually, because for me, for example, I don't really care about <laughs> much stuff, so for me, it's easy to be open and to be loud about things that matters to me. Mm -hmm. Mm, that I guess that for some people who are not as privileged as, as I am mm, and they don't have such a good position because like right now like um, I was going to university and I don't care if they want to like kick me out then I can sue them okay. because mm -hmm. I know what to do I I know my rights but yeah. not all of all the people know it yeah. so but yeah, it's it's quite uneasy, and also like a lot of people now are losing their jobs, uh, which were connected to the government. Okay. Because of the their views. So. Oh wow. Yeah. But I guess like they knew it's going to happen. So. Mm. Yeah, but it's still sad. Yeah. I still wanted to ask you like. There has to be a huge difference for LGBT people um, if they're living in a city or living, like, in the countryside, right? Oh, I love this question. Okay, so <laughs> here we go. This is your question. Um, because actually it's not that different. Um, I would say that Polish villages are really moving forward. Okay. And there are many... Um, I don't know how you call that, but, like, the president of the village... Yeah. It has a specific name in Polish, but I don't know. Okay. But, like, uh, there are many of... More and more of these presidents are coming out. Okay. So the communities are really, really learning. So if okay. we think about the whole society, it's actually quite good. Mm -hmm. uh, about approximately 60% of our society wants civil unions for LGBTQ okay. people. So it's... Like, the society thing is, I guess, moving really, really forward. So where is the problem? The government, of course. Yeah. Can you say a little bit more about that? For yeah, so in, in the government, um, the right-wing party has a majority, so they can do whatever they want, actually. So uh, opposition, of course, can vote for no, but like it, it doesn't change anything. Okay. Uh, but also before them, there were like liberal government, but they did nothing for eight years. So. Okay. That's why now people are so angry and they don't want to vote for them because they did nothing for eight years, you know. Mm -hmm. You had your time. Yeah. 
Um, but I guess like the society is uh, is quite moving forward. Mm-hmm. I I can hear a lot of positive um, things from smaller cities. For example, um, two months ago there was a, a case in Konin. Okay. There were two schools uh, in the small this small city, and they wanted to make a contest, like an art contest for Idaho. Mm-hmm. And I thought that, wow, this is such a great idea. And then the right-wing organizations and Nazis start to wrote to the head of the, uh, of the schools mm-hmm. to cancel it. Okay. So school gave up and canceled the, the competition. And you know what? The youth go out on the streets. Really? And they made their own equality wow. march. And there were like approximately 500 people there. This so is amazing. It was so yes. awesome. And it was, you know, self-made by, by these young people. Mm-hmm. They wanted to show that there is a space here in Konin to make things like this. Mm-hmm. To be open, to be happy, to be safe, you know? Yeah, this so, is amazing. Yeah, that's yeah. why I, I hate like when people are saying, oh, Polish village. No, not really, okay. actually. I guess that it's getting better and better. It's also because a lot of people co- are coming out. So, mm-hmm. you know, there's more and more people who know someone who's gay. And then it's they know that it's all, only propaganda, that it's not mm-hmm. true saying that, you know, they are teaching the kids or some mm-hmm. bad stuff or something like this. So I guess that it's quite getting better. Yeah, I bad. I'm super happy about our society. Like, yeah. um, in the last few years, a lot of people changed their mind. Because before that, a lot of people were saying that, oh, I don't know, I don't care, I don't know anyone who's gay, or something mm-hmm. like this. And now people are like, I don't care because it's not my thing, but I'm voting for yes, for like open society, for right to, like, human rights, you mm-hmm. know? So That's good. Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> now we have to just change our government and then we're done. We will be like, Loving. you know, yeah. the on the top list of <laughs> uh of ill gay Europe, you know. Uh so the longer you and I talk about topics like that, the more I realize that if you are like a Durban LGBT person, you're you're quite in a place of privilege actually because we have like lots and lots of at least legal you know, grounds to stand yeah. on. Like, we have equal marriages. We have, like... No! Congrats! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, my question is, basically, so how can we support you? What can we do as as German, as European, as, you know, international LGBT people to help you fight your fight? I think, like, what's... Maybe, I don't know about the LGBTQ community now, but with abortion, with women's rights, what helps a lot was a solidarity protests around Europe, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, like, mm, to make us being heard, you know? Now, because of the rainbow we made, there were also a lot of news around the world mm-hmm. talking about the situation yes. in Poland. And actually what was missing for me was, uh, in, in these articles, was that we have no fucking rights here. Uh, I don't know if I can say fuck. Yes, you can say fuck. <laughs> That's fine. Um, that we had to make this rainbow because it was burned down. And yeah. it wasn't burned down for fun. Mm-hmm. It was burned down because people were trying to attack the community. Yeah. And I think this is what was missing in Poland too. That it wasn't just like a, you know, like a um, some kind of setting a fire by random people. Yeah. It was mm-hmm. attack on like... A community, a yeah. like specific community. Mm-hmm. So I guess this this is what it, what's missing. So I know that uh, what's hard in Poland right now is that we, as an activist, we don't have time at all. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> uh, so what helps a lot if when people who knows both languages are translating things yeah. that are going on yeah. here. So I think this is this is super cool because. Honestly, there is so much going on that yes. sometimes even I can't catch up. So how can I even, you know, translate things yeah. to, to people uh, around the world? And I guess the most important thing is to know, just to like being interested, just to mm-hmm. like remember that. And like when you are talking about um, Europe, just to like imply that 
there is there are some countries in mm. in Europe still that doesn't have any rights. Yeah. And where people are actually in a bad place. Yeah. We are in a good place. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I guess this is this is the most important thing. Okay. And yeah, we're fine, I guess. Like I love my community, and beside people who don't like drag queens, um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like I feel like we are quite strong together. Okay. And especially now when there are attacks on women's rights, but also on rights of people with disabilities. We are getting a lot of solidarity from different minorities. Yeah, I noticed that. You're very well linked with other social yeah. groups like and movements. It's something that new. That is cool. It's something new. It hasn't happened before as strong mm-hmm. as it is right now. Right now we had a protest uh, of uh, families with people with disabilities inside. Mm-hmm. And they were fi- uh, fighting for equal rights for their kids. Uh, because in Poland, when the kid is disabled, is not getting the same amount of money out of from the government as the abled people, like kids. Okay. Yes. This is the kind of country. Also, if you are a kid and you are living in a foster home, you are not getting the money because they don't care. And now they made like a new law, so they are giving 300 zlotych to every kid who is going to school. Okay, so... That's about, I have to, like, 75 euros. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. So it's only, like, once a year when Mm -hmm. the school is starting to buy supplies. But if you are a kid in a foster home, you're not getting that. Because, I don't know, maybe you are not going to school or your school is less important than school of kids who has parents, you know? Yeah, this is the kind of country... Um, so this is the thing that the government is saying that is you know want to protect kids, but only kids who has parents are perfectly fine and healthy, and also uh, I guess that uh, will be voting soon because if not, and they also don't care. Heterosexual parents, of like, course, okay. come on, and it always they have to be married, you know, because then it's a problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that the the thing I wanted to say is that um, we have a quite a good community that is really cooperating with each other and we were strongly supporting the um, people with disabilities protests so they came to Equality Parade to, uh, to like celebrate with us but mm-hmm. also to show the solidarity, I guess. Okay, and that's great. I think this is this is the most important thing right yeah. now. That a lot of my friends coming to the protests are from different kind of organizations. Mm-hmm. So you get a good cooperation, but also you can learn a lot because, yes. like, you are getting more open. And if you are vocal about things that are not your path, then people from your environment can also learn. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Is there any last words you want to tell the world or Germany at least? <laughs> a Poland, Polish society is not that close as it appears in our government or in our media. We are quite a good community. We are supporting each other. So if you want to come, please come. There are a bunch of people who are good at parties, but also who will really welcome you warmly. Yay. <laughs> so thank you so much, so much for doing this. This was amazing. Thank you. Okay. And we have a map of the world. Yeah, we have a map of the world, us. which is great. We can and show that. There's also a little doggo. <laughs> and there is a doggo. <laughs> and my coffee.